Hey guys, Phone Arena today has the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play to demo, the first smartphone with a dedicated game controller, which on top of that is PlayStation certified, meaning it will have access to the PlayStation Suite platform initiative when it goes live later this year. It is supposed to unify access to games for PlayStation certified devices, this initiative, like Sony's upcoming NGP portable console and this here Xperia Play phone. We got the cool white version of the phone. It follows Sony Ericsson's so-called human curvature design, which makes it comfortable to hold, although it is a tad on the heavy side. And thus it's made to look more like a member of the Xperia family rather than a dedicated gaming device, which Sony probably saved for the NGP portable console coming later this year. Let's have a look around. We have a four inch LCD display, 480 by 854 pixels of resolution, it's not bad, but it's not uh, the one with the mobile Bravia engine that we find on the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc or Xperia Neo. And we wish it was a tad brighter than what it is right now. Underneath it, there's this Arc with the four navigational Android buttons, which is typical for the Xperia line. Front facing camera, proximity and light sensors. The back holds the five megapixel camera with LED flash and the second mic for noise cancellation. Here we have the two excellent stereo loudspeakers and looking around the sides, standard audio jack on the left with the micro USB port, the top has the lock power button, on the right we have the volume rocker, housed between these two buttons that you won't see on any other Android device, these are the, the shoulder trigger buttons for the Sony PlayStation controller, L1, right one respectively which are very sensitive to press when you're playing games. Let's have a look at this bad boy gamepad here. The phone slides open with a reassuring click, tight mechanism spring loaded. And Sony Ericsson's product manager for this phone says you can basically beat the crap out of the gamepad. That's how it's designed. It's thinner and smaller than what you used to on full size game controllers for PlayStation, for example. But uh, it's still very comfortable ensuring uh, hours of gameplay. You have the D-pad here on the left, the familiar PlayStation symbols on the right, two circular analog pads. You have the start and select buttons and the context Android menu button here. Basically, as we said, it's thinner than a regular gamepad, so it gets tiring after an hour or so of gaming, but uh, it's not that bad, basically, it depends on how big your fingers are. Oh, we know it's an excellent gamepad. Uh, the keys are not wobbly or anything with just enough travel. This here is the Xperia Play app, which appears on the screen when you open the gamepad with the games you have pre-installed or you have downloaded additionally on your phone, as well as all the other games that are waiting for you to buy or download that are optimized for the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. Let's have a look at the interface and the gameplay. The interface on the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play is called UX from User Experience. It's the one that uh, we saw on Sony Ericsson Android handsets last year, but it's simplified now. The timescape component of it is just a simple widget here, card-based notification system for your social networking accounts, text messages, emails, etc. Whereas the Mediascape component, simple shortcut here, a widget on a home screen. The interface is pretty fluid. On the one gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset is more than enough to power this interface. Sony Ericsson said they simplified it because they want to update on time to the next versions of Android, which come after 2.3 gingerbread, what we have here on the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. It's one of the first handsets to ship with uh, Android 2.3 gingerbread. Cool transitional animations, nice blue background, transparent background here of the pages in the main menu the portrait keyboard. The keys are a bit narrower than uh, what we would like to see to make typing more comfortable. Maybe Sony Ericsson could have left the uh, default gingerbread keyboard, which has excellent uh, ways to navigate the cursor within text and also to copy paste compared to previous versions of Android. 
Uh, what we wanted to show you are the game apps on the phone. First, we have the PlayStation Pocket app, which has all the games for PlayStation 1 that are tailored to the phone in one place. We only had Crash Bandicoot printed out, but uh, six or five or six appeared on Android Market today, additionally for six, seven dollars a pop. The other application is Get Games, which is basically a list of uh, all the titles that are optimized for the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. Uh, you can either find them on Android Market or on the developer's own websites. Some of them are free, some of them not, but uh, most of them are around four or five dollars for now. Let's uh, actually show you how some of them appear on developers own websites. For example, we have Gameloft here, which uh, don't have a very good relationship with uh, Google regarding Android market, so they're selling their games on their own website right here. They also offer free games like uh, Asphalt 6. You see it's uh, a free download, the HD version, quite a, a large one. And the main app is Xperia Play here, which opens when you slide open the gamepad as well. Here on the left are the Xperia Play games icons. These are the titles that came printed out with the phone. Sims 3, Star Battalion, FIFA 10, Bruce Lee, we all had on the phone together with Crash Bandicoot and Tetris. And these Asphalt 6, Cordy, and the rest we downloaded uh, from various sources, but here you have the titles that you already can play on the phone, you've downloaded or purchased, and on the right, more games. Other ones for the Get Games app, in nice large icons. These are all the titles optimized for the Xperia Play, that you can either download if they're for free or purchase. And there's an Android Market component, which basically just searches Android Market for Xperia Play optimized games. Next thing we wanted to show you is the music player. Well, it has uh, this nice minimalistic interface we're used to from the other Android handsets from the manufacturer. The other merit of the phone is that it has excellent loudspeakers, as you can hear now. Let's have a look at the browser. Pretty fluid performance. While you're doing pinch to zoom, you can also pan around in the browser, which we only used to see in Safari on the iPhone. But now on the Sony Ericsson's Android handsets, we have this one as well. We updated the browser to Android, to Adobe Flash, sorry, 10.2 from 10.1, which made Flash uh, run even smoother than it was before. Basically, we have uh, no complaints about the browser on the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. It's not a dual core performance, but it's uh, more than enough. And the last thing we wanted to show you is the camera interface. Basically, it's the stock Android camera interface. Pretty surprising. No skin or anything. A couple of settings, macro mode. The pictures in macro mode are very good, actually. White balance adjustments for the flash. Also, you can choose front-facing camera or the rear 5 megapixel camera. The video also has a couple of settings, color effects mainly white balance adjustments as well, and you can set the resolution here. The phone will shoot 720p HD video when it ships. The pictures and videos are actually pretty good from the 5 megapixel camera with LED flash. Uh, they exhibit warm colors, they unfocus, uh, there's plenty of detail, basically a very good camera on the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. Well, in the end, we can easily say that the little green Android robot just grew opposing thumbs thanks to the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play right here. There's a lot to like about the gameplay on the phone, the PlayStation style controller is top notch, although it is smaller and thinner than what you're used to in full size gamepads. 
which can make it a bit tiring after an hour or so of gaming, but that's the price to pay for having it on a phone. There are 40, 50 titles already that are optimized for the Xperia Play, and Sony Ericsson just outed today uh, six or seven more for PlayStation 1 that will be available in the PlayStation Pocket app on the phone for six, seven dollars a pop. Plus, uh, you can also download any classic game simulator for PS1, Nintendo, old Capcom games like this here, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs from Android Market and map the keys to the gamepad, which disposes of the biggest drawback when playing on touch screens, blocking the view with your fingers and the possibility to damage or smudge the screen. Not to mention the rumors of a Valve Steam network looking to appear on Android. On top of that, the phone offers very good call quality here in the earpiece with uh, noise cancelling mics, two outstanding stereo loudspeakers here, very good 5 megapixel camera with LED flash for still photos and HD video. What we think Sony is trying to do here is create a PlayStation certified mobile gaming platform for its PlayStation Suite initiative, which will be spreading to its future Android devices, portable consoles, maybe even its rumored tablets in order for the company to have a chance against Apple in the mobile gaming world. The Sony Ericsson Xperia Play is a bit rough around the edges in certain departments as all first efforts are, but it might very well be a sign of what's to come in mobile gaming and it's good to have a front row seat in the meantime and have some fun. This was a video review of the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play from Phone Arena. For more information about the handset, you can visit us at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.